Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be briefly talking about sensitivity, DPI, and why changing it is such a common problem and why it's really bad both short term and long term. So before anyone asks in the comments down below, my sensitivity is 0.375 at 800 DPI. I've only changed my sense once in the past year, and I might get into that in a second here. So why is changing sensitivity such a common thing? And so I have a theory behind this. I think that you guys, especially people that are in silver, gold, bronze, plat, all you guys, and even people that are higher, like diamond and ascendant, are still guilty of this, right? And the problem with this is you guys are looking at a bunch of streamers, a bunch of pro players, a bunch of really popular players, and you're like, wow, these guys look insane. You guys are like, wow, Ducky has insane aim. So you're like, what's your sensitivity, Ducky? Like, okay, 0.375, okay, I'm going to take your sense and DPI and start using it. And then, you know, two days later, you're like, oh, prod, tins. Uh, this pro, that pro, this streamer, that streamer. And then you keep changing your sense. And I think that's kind of why this happens. I think that's why people change their sensitivity and or DPI so much. Um, and now I'm going to be kind of explaining why this is bad short term and long term. So short term. So you can think, I like to think of sensitivity as a tool, right? So your sensitivity is a tool. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's how, it's how you're aiming, right? So if you have a, a tool that you're, you're constantly swapping out every game, you're, you're changing your sense every game or you're changing your mouse every game because your mouse is literally a tool, right? Um, then that's going to hurt you, right? That's going to hurt your muscle memory. It's like trying to, you know, it's like trying to use a new screwdriver to unscrew something. You're gonna have to kind of learn the, 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 you know, the slight ways that it works that the other one didn't. And so, you know, let's say that I changed my sense from 0.375 to 0.325. A lot of you guys might be like, oh, that's not really a big deal, but that is a pretty massive jump. That's 0.05 of a change. And that's going to mean that, you know, so th that's going to mean that you have to aim slower, right? Or you have to aim, you have to move your mouse quicker. And so another thing that really ties into this and the reason that you shouldn't be looking at my sensitivity for you, you can kind of you take mine with a grain of salt. You can take all these other pro players and streamers sensitivity with a, a grain of salt is because you don't have the same mouse pad as them. You don't have the same grip style as them. You don't have the same setup as them. You don't have the same X, Y, Z as them, right? You don't know if, if what, you don't know why their sensitivity is their sensitivity and you're not them. So copying their sensitivity is not necessarily ideal. Um, it's okay to kind of experiment, especially if you're newer or if you feel like your sense is just really bad. And I feel like this is where we get into murky water because you're like, yeah, my sense is bad and I, I want to change my sense. But you could say that as anyone, right? So I would suggest sticking with the sense for at least like a week. And then if you're really just like, wow, this, you know, I'm just not hitting my, I'm over flicking or I'm under flicking consistently. That's when you can change your sense. But if you're, if you're just in this habit of always like, oh, I missed, I need to change my sense. Like that's a problem, right? That's just not how, that's not how sense is meant to be kind of used in my opinion. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, grip style matters. I kind of tend to grip my mouse kind of like this. So... I don't know if you guys can see. This is how I tend to grip. It's, it's, it's almost kind of like a palm grip, but a lot of people will kind of grip like this. This is more of like kind of like a claw grip. And then some people will go even heavier palm like this um, or farther back. So, you know, this is going to determine how fast or slow your sensitivity should optimally be. And if you're copying a pro whose grip style is like this, like a claw grip, but you grip like a hard palm, right? Then that's going to determine slightly how your sensitivity is. And as well as my mouse pad is about a foot and a half long. If your mouse pad is this long, you're going to need a faster sense. Whereas if you have a full, you know, a full desk um, mouse pad, then like a full, a full size desk mouse pad, you you can, you have a little bit more leeway with whether you not, whether or not you want a fast or slow sensitivity, right? Whereas someone with a smaller mouse pad doesn't really have that luxury. Uh, it also might depend on, on your actual mouse. Um, you know, what kind of mouse do you have? Not not as much with the mouse, but you know, um, I would recommend playing at 800 DPI. I'm not sure if there's a benefit to playing lower or higher. I'm not really sure, but I've always played 800 DPI. So anyways, guys, if you have any other questions about this, or if you want a video on uh, grip style, that would be pretty cool for me to make. I usually grip like this with my pinky and my thumb can glide across my mouse pad if you can see that um and then i kind of have more leeway to like kind of move these fingers but um yeah guys if you like that video if you'd like any other kind of video let me know in the comments down below i'm making short videos for you guys that are supposed to be like nuggets of gold wisdom right so see you guys make sure to click the links down in the description if you want more of me and i'll see you guys peace